Hello again. This is an Acorn Archimedes A3000. Uh, music that you can possibly hear is Robocop 3 on the Commodore 64 because it's a nice tune to have on in the background and you just slap a cartridge in and hey, you've got music. Don't know if you can hear it, but um, just something in the background. This is a solder sucker. Yes, it's... Nothing dodgy, really, honest. Well, I suppose you could possibly use it for dodgy stuff. It is ribbed for extra stimulation. But uh, yeah, Acorn Archimedes, solder sucker, a 30 quid Amazon solder station, which kind of does the job. Um, some really cheap and crappy solder. Uh, anyone with any technical now is going to be looking at this and going, oh God, what are you doing? No, don't do it. But. Um, not that difficult, it's not that tricky. Yes, I could probably do a better job of it, but I'm just gonna bodge this and uh, see how we go. First things first, how to open one of these. You've got a screw there and a screw here. You undo it, and can I get a light on there? It's like a metal plate with a screw in it, which just stops you popping this clip down out of the way. So I'll put that on the shelf up there. Do the same with this one if you need. Just a slight, just to loosen it and move the bit of your screwdriver as well. Slide that out, put the bit of your screwdriver back in again. Press, and easy as that. And then you get, mm, 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 mm. And you go, well, one of the, one, it's open this end. Yeah, that's because one of these clips is broken. There are clips under here. But it should just be a case of get it at the right angle and they just pop out. I still haven't quite sussed it perfectly. There, come here. Now all the innards are falling out. Come here. There we go. Right. Now let's pop you back out. See now the keyboard will come loose. Pop this down on the floor out of the way. Still, it's handy that the keyboard's come loose. Because we need to get underneath to this here. I think I'll leave the keyboard on there without that's not stretching that ribbon cable too much. Look, it's the innards of a A3000. There we go chips and stuff, floppy drive, expansion board for, well it looks like a SCSI, no is it, well it's got a parallel port and I'm not sure, is that a SCSI hard drive connector perhaps, or is it an ID, it's got a clip on it, I'm not sure, I've not looked into that side of it, I just want to get it up and running, booting off floppy, it does boot, uh, but because the battery's dead it doesn't keep its settings, so I'm going to be replacing it, it does have under here, a battery bay that was never actually used, so I could put AAA batteries in there if I found got connectors and things. But I found a uh, far simpler way that other plenty of other people have done is uh, this is a what was it again? It was a Varta Mim Pack. Where are we? Varta Mim Pack 3 slash V 150H. 3.6 volts, 150 milliamp nickel metal hydride. And it has lugs on it, ideal for just popping in place for this one, apparently. So we just need to get some of the things out of the way here. Hmm, no, I'm going to have to take that out because I'm going to have to get, get the motherboard out in order to um, get to the underside of it, aren't I? Duh! So, I'm just very, very gingerly remove. Oh, it's a double ribbon cable. Are you going to come out nice and easy, or are you going to be a pain? Phew. Right, that's that to one side as well. What next? What else do we need to get out from here? Well, we'll disconnect these spade connectors from the power. Come here, come up, there we go. And put that one off there. 
Uh, we'll need to get that off of there, won't we? We need to get this floppy drive off, don't we? So, we have screws on the underside for that. Which we need a long screwdriver. There we go, that's in. And I have removed the floppy drive once before to have a look underneath. I went, oh, that was underneath, and put it back in again. And that should be the last one. Let's hold that as I do what, let's just leave it lying on the desk. Come on, screws, out you come. One, two, three. There's that last one, there it is. Four, which I will put up here on the shelf. Right. We have the floppy drive there. Um, I'm going to have to remove this board as well, aren't I? In order to be able to lift it out past there. Is that. Yes. Oh, great, we've got a screw and a. We've got nut on the end of the screw. Marvellous. Don't want to be losing that. That on the shelf. And we will get this off here as well. Come on. What do we need to do this one instead? Come on. This screw has not been moved since it was first put in. Let's go with this one instead, the one next to it. They appear to be bolted together. Oh, this is a bit finicky. Let's try this screwdriver instead. Come on, undo. Not sure if it's just spinning. Oh no, there we go, that's come out. There we go, pop that out of the way. Is that loose now? Kind of, but it's fixed into the board. Let's get this on the here, get this out of the way. Will you come out neatly? You don't look like you will come out neatly. You've got chips in the way. Looks like you are staying there forever. Now, can I gently lift this? Yes, I've not dismantled this far before. Can I gently lift this off? A bit of a wiggle? No. Well, we might need to lift that out one as well. Let's get this power cable off here. There we go. Will all this lift out as one? Where's that going to? That's going under there somewhere and then going off to the speed. I don't know where that's going to and that's going to be annoying. Oh bum, no, we've got to get this bloody screw off. Uh, come on. There we go. Right, that's off there now. Will that come off now? I don't know if that'll come off neatly or if it's not meant to be removed, but it looks like it should just disconnect. Oof. Using just enough pressure without too much. Mm, I do not like this. Can I lift the whole thing out now instead? No, because we're screwed down somewhere. Over, we're screwed down there. No one told me about that one there, did you? That's that one. Still feel like we're held down somewhere around here. Oh, there's a clip there, I see. Okay. And I dismantled the RISC 7, 700 or 7000. I always forget what it is. It's a RISC, 7, RISC PC 700. That was much easier to take apart to get at the battery. And after I'd done it, I thought, damn, I should have filmed this for you. It was thrilling. Honestly, it was. 
But this is a bit more tricky. It's not, I don't think you're meant to take this apart in quite as much as uh, that one. Hmm. Hmm. Why is lifting off there? Why are we not lifting off down there? There's a screw there. As you can see, I've done a lot of research for this. <coughs> How about now? Right, that's a loose there now. Any the other screws hiding? There, we've got one there as well. Yes, as I said, anyone with any technical nose is going to be watching this again. What are you doing? No! I mean, look, I'm not even static grounded or anything. But, uh, famous last word, I've never had any trouble with that sort of thing. Hey, there we go. Oh, we've lost a, uh, a washer from somewhere. I wonder where that came from. Hmm. Came from a screw somewhere, I'm sure. Right. Can we just turn it over so we... Yes, we can turn it over so we can just get at that. You can get out of the way. You can get out of the way. I don't know if... You, can you see that in the... Um, hold on, let's... Um, where did I put that do you know? Oh, I dropped it on the floor. Mm -hmm. I angle this so you can see in there. That's but it's going to a connector right at the back over here. I don't know if you can uh, there maybe. Can you see? Do you see? I don't know. Can I zoom with this? Let's have a look. Yes, but not at what I'm looking at. And let's see. Mm. Anyway, it's right underneath there, which is annoying. Can't see whether you're seeing that or not. But it's awkward because this this board's in the way. Let's go back out. Hmm, how are we going to do this? Well, we'll get that speaker out of the way anyway. Can we gingerly turn this over and... Oh, we've got an earth cable going to there, so that's making it awkward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not the way to do it. Can I turn it around this? Yes, we go. We can just about do this, I think. Can we, um... Yes, we can move the speaker out of the way and then... Makes it a bit easier. Right, where is it again? <laughs> it's here. It's these connections here. So that's what we need to be getting at if we can. Move me drink out of the way. Chin chin. Uh, let's wipe the soldering iron off. <coughs> let's sit down. <coughs> This is awkward with this in here now. Um, can I turn this around 90 degrees? That might make it a bit easier. Move that floppy drive out the way. Let's do it like this then if we can. Big Clive's channel, this is not. So here. So, yeah, we're ready on that. We will see if we can rip this cable around a bit better. Let's heat that up and put some fresh on it to help with the removal process. Adding more to, adding more to help get rid of it. Older sucker at the ready. I don't know if you can see this. Hang on, can I zoom in on this? You might be able to see it a bit better then. Um, uh, where's the angle for this? Where's the angle for the dangle? Let's see, what can we do? 
what are we looking at here? Let me get the light on that a bit better. Not particularly. Now, what bit was I looking at? I was looking at that bit there. He says pointing with the hot thing. We're looking at this thing here. Now, so if we can get that You gonna focus? You're not gonna focus, are you? We'll just have to zoom out and um, leave it at that then. So we'll go with that. Oh, I know why it's not focusing because I got it set for a focus for uh, the distance of the TV screen to stop it automatically focusing all the blooming time. Anywho, this is about as good as we're gonna get. And hey, no one's using this as a tutorial, or at least I hope not. I'm just here to show it's not that difficult, hopefully. So let's melt that solder. Come on, there we go, nice wet solder, and suck it away, and eject. Right, so, 574, is it? I think it's that one and that one, the looks of it. If it's not, well, we're desoldering the wrong things and we'll be um, resoldering them again afterwards. That's melted nice and quick. And that looks fairly clear. Eject. And let's do this one. There we go, nice blob on there. Did I do? Yeah, I'm always forgetting whether I've done that or not. And hmm, I think we've still got some left on that one. Might have put a bit too much on. That looks pretty clear. Right, let's pop the soldering onto one side. Let's check that. Now, can we turn this up on its end? Now that is still pretty wedged in there by the looks of things. It's moving a little bit. Still got a bit more in there, so let's. Um, I'm prying on it on the back. Let's. Yeah, there we go, that's better. That's a wedge of screwdriver underneath there just to give it a bit of leverage as I heat this up. I think the corrosion has stuck it to the board, which is going to be a bit awkward. Let's get this front one out and work from there. Yeah, this is fiddly. Gotcha. Come on out. Right, you. <laughs> Show you some of that. So you can see if I turn this this way. No, now you can't see it at all. Marvelous. I don't know if you can see the gunk underneath there. I'll try and get a better shot for you in a bit. But meanwhile, let's concentrate on just pulling this off. There we go, that one's come through now. Come on, now yeah, you want to. Still got some stuck on you, just slipped a bit there. There we go, that one's out completely now. Come on out. Ooh, didn't want to do that. I haven't damaged any traces there. There we go. We are free. And ew. Looks like it's got a sticky pad underneath that's got a bit cruddy. 
and some of those um, legs of other chips from nearby have gone a bit green. Don't know if you can. Uh... Yeah, it's a bit um, crusty. Still, 30 years old. What are you going? What do you expect? So now we've got that bugger out before it's caused any, hopefully, irreparable damage. Let's see if that sticky remnants of that sticky paddle just pry off. You can't see what I'm doing here again, can you? Can we see now? Just about, perhaps. Ugh. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen Ashen's um, Chinese Delicacy special where you get the um, Chinese thousand year egg. It, 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 the uh, rubber on this sticker appears to have gone a bit like that. Bing bin, I'm not going to eat this. Oh, there we go, it's coming off quite nicely now, the remnants. Ech, this is nasty stuff, looks like. Much better. Yeah, so now I've blown it all over my desk. Wonderful. Right. I have a little jar of IPA there. I've nicked the uh, cotton buds from the bathroom. Let's give a little wash around to see if that cleans up a bit. Just to uh, get some of this green off some of this gunk here. Certainly gone green. When I say IPA, I of course mean isopropyl alcohol, not an Indian pale ale for any smart asses out there. Because I don't think you'd want to be wiping that on your boards. Well, that's come out quite nice there. You can't see because I've got my elbow in the way. I'll have to do this left handed. I've just seen this little head up here called Alt Mouse. Yeah, so mouse connection there, Alt Mouse there. So you could possibly wire a standard PCM PS2 mouse, maybe? Hmm. Well, I have a Smalley Mouse 2 converter on its way. Uh, so I can hopefully plug that into the Acorn mouse port and then plug a standard modern day USB mouse in, which won't be quite the same experience as uh, using the real Acorn mouse, but seeing as I don't have one of those, and I don't really fancy spending 30 to 50 quid on an old mouse which could quite easily just die, so um, I figured, well, I'll go with the smally mouse route. Yeah, that's kind of looking clean enough there, I think. Some of those legs are still a bit green, but um, I mean, I'd have to use, um, I think it's white wine vinegar or something, isn't it? You use a, a vinegar to neutralise that and then you wash it off with the IPA. I'm just using the IPA for now. I will uh, come back again and do a proper clean-up job at some point. I'm just here to do the mouse at the moment. Mouse, the uh, battery. I'm going to put the lid back on that before I think it's my drink and take a swig of it. Right. So, where did I put the battery now? Hmm. Let's zoom out again and let's see if you can point out where the battery is. Where did I put the battery? I see the battery. The battery is... Here's the battery. So in theory, this... The pins on that should fit... Yes, they fit very nicely into there. And then that third one into... Almost, come on. Those two fit very nicely there, and I did bend that one a little bit. There we go. Nice. I mean, yes, it does mean. Oops. It does mean we've got a battery connected to the board again. But you could just wire wires onto it and put the battery somewhere else, like in the battery compartment. But to be honest, 
if this gives this another 20 to 30 years, that's probably longer than I've got. So I'm happy enough with that for now. Um, can will that get, that won't go any further at the moment until I, I've got a bit of solder still in there, I think. So can I, now I've got this all twisted around all over the bloomin' shop, haven't I? There we go. If I heat that up, will that go through? Yeah, there we go. Right. So, can I lay this down? I don't particularly want to try and solder vertically like that. I need something underneath to hold the battery in place. Oh no, it's a floppy drive. Hold that battery in place there. Lovely. Solder. Cheap ass solder. Cheap ass solder station. That's all you need. Let's put that on there and... Oh. That looks okay. We are soldering at far too high a temperature because my solder station, my cheap ass Amazon one, for some reason, it doesn't want to go down on temperature. It'll go up on temperature, but it won't go down. So I'm being very careful here not to touch things too, too long. That looks good enough to me. A bit cooked around the edges, but it'll do. Dab, 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 dab. Okay. So, we now have a battery soldered in place. Doesn't look too bad, to be honest. That's pretty rigid. Um, let's reassemble. Um, which way round was it all? <laughs> uh, which one? I'm pretty sure, but going by the kink of the cable, that's the one from the right hand side, that's the one from the left hand side. Are you going to get back in again now? Get that out from there. Get that in that notch there. Get these wires out of the way. Come here. Right. No, I'm not quite in place, are you? There we go. The reset button is okay there. Got these okay here. Let's pop that on there. Um, let's get these screws put on the back to hold it in place again. Come on, where's the hole? You're here somewhere. Come on. Ah, there we go. No, nope, not quite. Do you want to spit on it before putting it in? Yeah, well, let's try the other screw. That felt like it was slightly too... T no, is that not the right one? Was this the small one for there? Guess he didn't pay attention. Let's try this small one. That seems to fit nicely. That screwdriver's a bit big for that. And where's the other bit for this? There we go, that fits in there nicely. And these two are for here, aren't they? He says, hoping he's got them right this time. Let's 
Yep, that's it. Oh, of course, they had the nut on the other side, didn't it? So it's that screw, not that one. Even though that fits, let's um, put the right one in the right place, hey? And that's where that washer came from, isn't it? Of course, because there's that nut. So that goes in there. That washer goes on the end. Our pudgy fingers, we just about get the nut on it. And job's a good one. This screw in here, I think. Or just drop it on the floor, on a dark floor. A dark floor with kind of flex on the carpet, just to camouflage a screw. Marvellous. Oh, no, there we go, I got it. <sighs> that was lucky. Now, are you going to go in or are you going to cause trouble still? No, you're going to cause trouble still. Must have been this one then. That looks more like it actually. I'm thinking those are possibly the ones from the um, the last ones. Very last for the uh, clip for the case. Let's pop this cable into the cable holder here and here and pop the speaker in place there and this one over there. Um, we've got the floppy drive to go in, but we've also got the motherboard screws to put in, haven't we? Those are the four for the... Oh no, these are the motherboard screws. Right. Uh, well, one there, then. Lovely. And one here, which looks like a small one, so that's this one, I hope. So I was hoping you can see. Come on. Find the hole. The hole's there, but it's not wanting to go in. So let's go with this one in here. Let's try this one. There we go, that's much better. There was that one, that one. It was just this one here, wasn't it? That's come out of that. Right. After screwing that in, that's now in the wrong blooming flat. That's now wobbling around because it should be in there. Let's undo this so we've got a bit more movement on it then. Take them out again. You know what? Better turn off that soldering iron before I knock it, didn't I? Come on. Take that one out then. Get in there. Mangling you, get in there. There, right, that's in there, that's in there. Good. Is that in the right place there? That's... Now oh, that's coming out again. Oh, you know what? There's barely any clip left on the end of that. So I shouldn't have worried about it so much. I doubt it's going to hold it in particularly well anyway. But there we go, let's... Get this back in before we forget where we are again. This last one here, if it will go in. Yeah. This one does not want to go in here. I'm wondering if that's the right one for there. The hole there, but no screw hole for it to go into. There. That's where it was, wasn't it? 
I don't know what that screw hole down there is for, but I don't think there was a screw in there. Obviously, I'll watch, back, I'll watch this video back and go, oh no, one did come from there. Right, so I think that's everything there. I think what we do now is pop the floppy drive on there. And we'll reconnect that. Where's the power cable for that gone? There it is. Oh, these cables need to be rooted a bit better under here, didn't they? Damn it. There we go. That's that end there, that's that end there. These. Red one onto that one. Black one onto that one. Okay, grab my chair again, let's turn it over, oh no, let's get those screws, four screws, and then I've got two left for the case, that looks about right. So let's hold this in place, and put one in first and see how we go. Come on, where are you? It will fit somewhere along here. Gotcha. Right, well, we'll put that speaker back in again later. Yes, that feels like that's gone in. Hold it hard drive. Proper drive up as I'm doing it. You in there? Yes, you're in there. Wonderful. Let's get that back up the way you want to be. <laughs> that speaker back in there. Good, that's staying in there. That's looking about right there. That motherboard's come up at the corner again. And I think it's always going to do that because that clip's not really all there. It looks like they used to have two more here, much the same. So I can't worry about that. Plenty of other things to worry about, like can I get this keyboard back on without ruining the ribbon cable? We shall see. That's on, that's on, that's on. I think that's everything there. I think we are just looking at the keyboard. And so, one into there. Don't know if you can see that there. Let's zoom in again. Will that make any difference? How's that for you? Watch me ruin a ribbon cable. No, that's gone in okay. And this one on the other side. Come on, will you go in? Push that one out of the way so I can get at it. Oh, it's difficult to hold it and on both sides. You dainty your fingers. Right, I think that's in. Hopefully. Keyboard back in place. That's all in there. That's on there. That's kind of sticking out a bit now compared to how it was, isn't it? As long as it's not over that, that should be okay. So, case back on. <laughs> Lid back on. Oh, 
line up those slots. Come on. I said line up the slots, line up, damn you. Going in that side, why aren't you going this side? No, hang on, that's got to go behind that. There we go. That's got to go behind that as well. There we go, lovely. And just to jinx myself completely, I will put the uh, clip locks back on again. Oh, come on. Little washers in the way. Get on there. Can't see what I'm doing because I'm zoomed in. Come on. You probably still can't see, but this is the last damn screw, so we'll manage. Get on there. There we go. Right. That's been, I don't know how long, 20 minutes, half hour, hour and a half, who knows I've been, how long I've been tinkering here. Uh, Turn about that clip there, but hey ho, it's all cosmetic, it still works, hopefully. I've got everything clipped back together by the feels of it. So, I'm gonna go over there and plug it into the only TV I've got in here with a um, accessible SCART socket, because, um, my funky CRT here doesn't have that, it just has RF, and um, well RF's no fun on this, um, actually RF doesn't, does damn all on this, uh, it doesn't have RF, it has mono video and analog RGB, so analog RGB it is. I'll go and plug this in, we'll move this camera over and um, we'll see if it works, eh? Fingers crossed. Right, well, here goes nothing. Hold down delete and turn on. Boop. Hey! That's looking alright. Now, actually, let's um, switch off. Let's just try switching on again without holding down delete. Is it now going to save whatever BIOS settings it's got? Hey! That looks like jobs are good and I mean, it's still type things on the keyboard, that's working. Well, modules. Yeah, so there's stuff. I don't know, I don't know Archimedes stuff at all. Escape, escape. Oh, there we go. I have no mouse, I cannot click on anything, I cannot do anything else other than pressing F12 to bring up a... Well, that's a bit wobbly, that picture, isn't it? But We'll, we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, that's. Um, switch it off. Switch it back on again. It goes boop, and we get the desktop. Brilliant. That's a battery successfully replaced, I feel. So, um, no longer will this thing threaten to kill this machine anymore. Yeah, a V280R from like it's RS logo. Yeah, strange enough. It's from RS that I got the replacement battery. Anywho, there we go. There's some tinkering with an Acorn Archimedes. We've done tinkering with a B. We've done tinkering with another BBC machine, and hopefully my smallie mouse um, adapter will be coming soon, and I can tinker a bit more on the game side and. I don't know, alien machine to me, I don't know. The only time I ever saw one of these was the art teacher in school had one that used to play his arch. We never got to touch it, so I've never had anything to do with any of these machines. But hey, I want to play his arch now, it's my turn. There we go, hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you on the next one maybe. Ta-ta!